lawyers you're going to get for me. Well, you've got to get a good politician for the deputy. I mean a wise one. I'm not sure we'll get a fellow like Dick Hughes. He's governor. I guess he wouldn't come. He'd, he'd probably make good attorney general. Governor of New Jersey, he was a... He was uh, on the bench up there when he got off. You know him? I do, yes. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm the person up there that I think better of is his wife. Is she, uh, she's pretty heavy. <laughs> yes, sir, she is, but she's pretty heavy in every way. <laughs> is she smart? She's awful smart. And, uh, is she a lawyer? No. <laughs> no, but uh, she's a tremendous politician and a great campaigner. <laughs> I think he's just marvelous. I, I like him. I think he's fine. Uh, I think we can get up some names. Do that. Yes, sir. Do that. You haven't got anybody in your firm that's any good. I sure do. But, uh, you want to get me in trouble with Carol. Have you got any... Don't we have any political lawyers around? I don't guess Jim Rowe would take the deputy under Ramsey, would he? I shouldn't think so. That might be a good spot for him if he would do it, though, because he could probably take that as a matter of health, you know, fix his own, set his own pace, which he could not as attorney general. But uh, he was deputy at the time when it was called assistant to the attorney general. Might just. That'd be a good team. Couldn't put somebody like Peyton in, could we? Too much drinking, didn't he? No, you wouldn't want to do that. Peyton really had to go beyond the point. He's a wonderful fellow, but can't be sure that he shows up in the morning. But uh, he, he really is fine and very bright, very astute. Think about it, and I'll talk to your dad, too. What do you think I ought to say to him when I ask him? Just say I'm going uh, Ramsey's been there and been around the department a good deal anyway while Nick's working on other things, and, and I'm going to let him act for a while. That's it, I guess. Could I have time to sit down and go into it? Yeah. Sure would. Doesn't hurt him to act. Nick acted five, six months. That's right. Okay. Say, uh, Bobby's making quite a show of this uh, assassination thing. Got a big story in the U.S. News this week. Uh, truth about Kennedy assassination, the question raised and answered. I haven't read it, but it looks like he does a good job for the Warren Commission. But uh, uh, he's got everybody raising questions about it. They claim now the Manchester book's going to raise a lot of questions. He's got Lou Harris running a poll, yeah. and good, the majority of them doubt that this is the whole story on Kennedy. Did you see that poll? Yes, sir. So, and 2% of them think that I did it, yeah. according to Lou Harris. Yeah. Now, Lou Harris is just owned by Bobby. Yeah. He got him making polls all over the country. He got him to make this one showing that he beat me two points, which was a phony at the time, although I think it's true now, because I think that they've sold the poll all over the country. Yeah. And I think everybody says, oh, God. And I read seven stories this weekend where nobody wanted me. And the very people that weren't wanting me in North Carolina were up here the day before yesterday begging me to come. The governor came up himself. But uh, Bobby puts out that stuff, and all of them write it. Baltimore Sun wrote it. New York Times wrote it. Washington Post wrote it. He has one backgrounder up on the hill. Yeah. I don't know how to deal with that. Well, on the uh, Warren Commission thing itself, I, uh, you know, um, Jacobson called... Yeah. Uh, Chief, and then the chief called me in and asked me if I could handle it for him. He didn't think he ought to handle it direct, and I called uh, Jake and uh, told him uh, the chief wouldn't uh, reply to his inquiry, and that he ought to get in touch with me, keep, keep me informed. Now, I, uh, uh, there is, um... Uh, well, I didn't, I didn't, didn't, he didn't make any inquiry of him, did he? Sir? He didn't make any inquiry of the chief, did he? Uh, I thought he just told him to call this to his attention and see that his general counsel knew that this effort was going on so that they wouldn't overlook it. Uh, well, uh, that's what he, I told him. He uh, thought he wanted some comment back. Oh, no. No all, I, no, all I want him to do is tell his law clerk, if he knew him, 
that he ought to remind, tell the chief that this was heading up up here in the Senate yeah. building. He ought to watch it and ought to have Rankin and whoever he had yeah. to kind of look at these things. I'd clip this pole of Harris's fencing, mm -hmm. and I'd put it on the top of my file. I'd take these interviews and put them on. I would keep a little eye on each one of these guys that writes an article. Yeah. Well, uh, I, there's some couple of things that uh, I'm doing uh, that uh, not quite uh, ready. But number one, the chief and I talked about this. I told him I thought somebody ought to write a book on his side and do it right away. And he thinks the best man to do that is Lee Rankin, who's counsel to the committee, you know, who's Eisenhower's solicitor general. Yeah. And he's counsel to the Warren Committee. Yeah. I think that's a fine idea. I don't think it'll work because Rankin is a counselor up in the city of New York to Lindsay. But in any event, the chief's going to ask them uh, next day or two. That's sure. number one. Number two. Why well, won't he? You just don't think he'll have time to do it. Huh? That's right. Yes, sir. Otherwise, he'll do it. He's a fine man. Yeah. Number two, uh, the president, you know... Would he be a good man for us to have a solicitor general? Well, he was solicitor general. I say, would he? would be grand, but he got out if he wanted to come back. You know, Why would he want to be counselor in New York, then? Oh, I don't know. Politics, I guess, get political swing. He's first rate man. Well, maybe he ought to be deputy. That's a place where you make all your all your appointments. Yeah. He's a Republican. Mm. Uh, that could be kind of rough. Okay. Mr. President, there are two things I want to mention about this. Number one, were you aware that uh, this, uh, about this testimony of Oswald's wife saying that came to die when uh, he put on his pistol and was going down to shoot the vice president. No, uh, Jake told me that. Oh, I told Jake. That. Yeah. Well, I've got that all buttoned down, man. It's a day when you were in Dallas and Nixon was not. She meant you, not Nixon. Now, that's that he was going to shoot, you see? Now, number two. Uh, Why didn't that ever come out? I don't think I published it very good. <laughs> Number two, uh, the, uh, and this I don't know whether I'm at liberty to use, and I'm trying to find out more about it. There is, uh, in the vault of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, this is the chief told me, uh, President Kennedy's clothes. Those clothes quite clearly refute main charge that's been made. That is that uh, one of the bullets came from the front because uh, the fabric on those clothes show uh, uh, that the uh, bullet came from behind where the fabric was down. Now, I'm uh, checking into that uh, more extensively. I've got one of my law clerks and I have total confidence uh, checking into that. If it checks out, I'm gonna, I'd am gonna. i like to talk with you about it and see whether we can get it out. It's a publicity on it. Maybe we can get those clothes released. I was never talked about, and the clothes were put in the FBI vault uh, just because of Mrs. Kennedy's deal. I would doubt that. I'll bet $10 they're in the archives of the Kennedys. I saw a story last night somewhere where Bobby had uh, no, it's this morning in the U.S. News, it's out, out today, that he had seized all the pictures, uh, missing x-ray pictures that provide the major remaining mystery about the facts and the assassination of President Kennedy are reported, uh, some officials concerned, have been taken over soon after the assassination by Robert Kennedy, then turned to place in the Kennedy archive. They reportedly were never offered the Warren Commission investigating the assassination because that's what have involved publication in the report of the gory death pictures. Oh, good Lord. Well, the chief thinks that. I'll find out about that. The chief thinks that uh, the clothing's over in the FBI vault, and uh, he also, there's also a picture of uh, the uh, President Kennedy's brain. But I'm gonna follow all this through and get you. 
Uh, okay, I sure think we ought to, and I think you ought to point this, these little things up. Each week, they hit them. Now, they got an aid agency up there. They tell me they got 41 men working for the Kennedy Foundation, and they just visit this stuff all day long. Just all day. Okay.